All right, hello, hello, hello. Cheers, Kevin here. Welcome back to Astro Block. And today, well, I don't know entirely all the things that we're going to do. I've got some plans, but I think this is going to be another longer, more crafty episode where we make a little bit of progress. One thing that I have noticed about our storage system is that, uh, okay, potential empty slots, 20. That's getting dangerously low. We could do a couple of things. We could take out all of these books and try and find things that are more stackable and make sure that those are in there so that we don't end up with, uh, you know, th slots of 64 getting used up in here and stuff. Uh, but really, probably, eventually, we need to look at the Applied Energistics uh, system. Now, it, it looks to me like that's actually gated behind us getting to at least Venus. I think there's, there's a requirement that we get lead um, to, to make progress before we can get that, that whole system set up. And I don't have experience with that, so that's also going to be a little bit of, of an adventure. Um, what that means is that it really behooves us to kind of push toward... Um, yeah, go into, go into these various dimensions. So, a couple of places. So, so I, I did notice here, um, you can go to Mars, you can go to Phobos, and you can go to Deimos. And those are actually all three required for this next tier here. Um, we're going to need to craft it, ourselves a tier two rocket to get there. Um, but the big thing that we can get on Mars is the Desh ingot. And that's, uh, that's something we can, uh, we can certainly make use of. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, so... Before, yeah, I'm jumping ahead. I've got, as, as, as always, this is one of those, oh, I have so many, so many thoughts, blah, 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 episodes. Um, <laughs> I want to see if we can upgrade some of our equipment because if we're going to get to Desh Ingot, there is something that I would like to do, and that is if we look at our advanced machinery, there's an upgrade to the Astro Miner. Um, it's an upgrade in here. It's, a, it's an entirely different, uh, it's, we can craft a digital miner. This is, this is from Mechanism. It's not an upgrade to the Astro Miner. But a digital miner uh, basically, I think, works as a, a huge miner thing that is amazing. And we can basically plop it down, and it should just mine out stuff. And we can even tell it to replace the empty spots uh, with uh, junk blocks. Um, which is really, really cool. So we can tell it to, to mine up specific air, uh, in a specific area. We can tell it, give me all of the ores in this area. And it doesn't really have to move or anything like that. I haven't messed with it yet, but this is my understanding. Yeah, a highly advanced filter-based auto miner that can mine whatever you tell it to within a 32-block radius. Um, that sounds awesome, um, and I'd like to upgrade to that. Another thing that we are going to want to slash need to do is uh, when things changed, there was a the, there was a change to how fuel production works, and I think this might actually be um, a better system and certainly a less laggy system uh, for producing fuel. Because if you remember on the station, we have this <laughs> this big terrible uh, system that's using the the mechanism multi block structures uh, for condensing steam into into uh, fuel, which is just a little bit weird and a, uh, yeah, a little bit quirky. So we'll eventually want to create a system to do that. I also want to see about upgrading our jetpack if we can. I don't know how far we can go there. So, yeah, lead is the... Okay, lead, we're definitely not going to be able to do. Meteoric jetpack, though, we can probably do. Um, and then I also want to see about this transporter, because the basic transporter says, hey, you can't teleport between dimensions. Um, and just to show you real quick how this works, I can select, yeah, the glacier biome. And if I try to do that, uh, if I shift right-click, there we go. Now we're in the glacier biome. Uh, and that is... Where are we? So yeah, our, our, our base is over there, and now we're over here. So hooray for us. Um, and I can also tell this now um, that I'm targeting the base. And so now if I uh, shift right click, uh, I can do that. Although if I hit V, there are actually two modes. You can set it to transport. You can also set it to blink. Oh, uh, there we go. So if I shift right click, I can jump forward by a little bit. So that's, I mean, I don't know how useful that is. But anyway, we can teleport ourselves back into the base. Now, if we were able to do that across dimensions, that means we don't have to worry about making that big teleporter pad and farming up a whole bunch of those teleporter cores um, because these, the space warper cores, because these were a pain to get. You have to find invaded buildings that have loot chests, then wait for a while to kill off all of the mobs, and then uh, once, that's all, <laughs> once that's all finally done, you open it up and you go, oh, well, there were no space warper cores in there. Let's find another building. And it, it takes, it takes a, a, a while. So I want to see if we can go about upgrading... Uh, the transporter and see if there's a version that will go across dimensions. So let's uh, take a look at that. So this is from the whoosh mod and uh, it does, one thing that I did notice, if you fly too far away it's going to complain, hey there's not enough redstone. Um, so uh, yeah, so the, I'm presuming this upgrade is still going to be beneficial. So this one also says can't teleport between dimensions. This one though doesn't have any such warning. So maybe, maybe if we get up to the reinforced. Reinforced is going to require electrum, uh, Ender Pearls, which we've got plenty of, and then, ooh, Hardened Glass. Oh, no. No. Oh, what a bummer. Okay. 
No chance of getting that one done. Um, because that's yeah, that requires lead. Wait, no, yes, okay. There's a compressor recipe. Amazing. Okay, fantastic. That's okay. This is this is wonderful news. I'm very excited. Let's take some some regular glass out of here, and we can we can get ourselves some hardened glass in the compressor. Amazing. Okay. Um, it was what like this, and then one two three one two three. And of course, I can't do that because there's stuff there. There we go. Okay, cool. So we can craft hardened glass. That's that's fantastic news. Okay, so let's see about upgrading this transporter. And yeah, I mean, we already have the way to get to our moon base and to the station. Uh, well, I mean, we can slash uh, go back to the station whenever. One thing we're going to need is invar plates. Um, and that means we need invar ingots. Now, invar ingots we make via in, uh, invar blend, which means we need iron dust and tin dust. Now, this is a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, right now because we've been using the quartz grindstone whenever we need this uh, obnoxious dusty stuff um it would be nice to craft up a pulverizer and in fact we'll need the pulverizer for later stuff anyway so why not see if we can make ourselves one of these oh no okay open question do we have any tin okay we have one tin ore uh, oh never mind we can craft yeah huh we can compress this iron and aluminum will give us tin as well okay fair enough uh, yeah, let's go back. Well, and the one tin ore also, because we now have our uh, arc furnace set up here, um, we'll get we'll at least get two out of that ore. So, okay, let's see if we can make ourselves a pulverizer. We need a tin gear. Put that in there. And uh, pulverizer uh, machine frame. There we go. One of those. And some copper gears. Nice. And, okay, we're still missing some stuff. We need... A redstone, uh, blah, 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 blah. And we need a piston. Do we have the? Yeah, good. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, now we can make a pulverizer. Cool, cool, cool. And this will basically do the do the crushing up of stuff for us. Um, so let's go ahead and plop. Let's get that out of the way. And we'll just put the pulverizer down here. Okay, it does get power. Um, we can auto output disabled. Cool, because we don't want... Oh, no, disabled. Disabled, cool, cool, cool. And we'll just put stuff into there. Um, and so what is it we needed to make? So Invar... So Invar Blend required some iron dust and some tin dust. Um, so actually, let's let's get some iron. Uh, we'll take a stack of that and a stack of aluminum. And get that. And uh, we'll put those into our compressor and get those compressing for us. Um, iron and aluminum. And there we go. And we'll just start making a, tack, a stack of tin. Um, let's also take a stack of iron out of here. And we'll just get this thing uh, breaking itself up into these chunks. So with that working, let's let's bookmark this as the hardened one. And then this as the, <clears throat> the more complex one. Um, so let's see. And then, I mean, I suppose we can continue to upgrade if that's even possible but it, we'll worry about that at, at a later point um so let's assume that we were able to to do this so we get the end of our plate um we just need tin ingot and then our, our basic transport we've got the ender pearl so yeah this is this is easy peasy provided we've got the invar done if we then wanted to upgrade to the reinforced we need electrum plates electrum we don't have yet um we need electrum blend and this looks like oh okay just gold dust and pulverized iron okay so we're just going to need to pulverize uh, also some gold um, we'll just grab i don't know half of that I, I'm assuming we'll find a use for this stuff eventually. And yeah, just because I hate uh, I hate wasting time, um, let's look at the digital miner and see if we can do this. Um, all right, we're gonna need more compressed stuff. That's ah, more titanium. So titanium, we have titanium. Uh, we just need to press it up. Ooh. Oh, okay. It's just that we haven't smelted it up. Okay, we've got four of those. Eventually, those are gonna need to go in the compressor as well. You know, let's let's say let's say you're good. Let's go ahead and get those going, and we can upgrade our astro miner eventually once we get once we get to there. Okay, um, let's throw some tin in here. We've got some some of this. Hooray! And throw some tin. Uh, not not pulverized iron. Uh, da da tin. Uh, half of that goes in there. Thank you. And we'll put some tin away, some aluminum and iron away. Put all this stuff away. Thank you very much. Um, do we have other pulverized? Yes, pulverized stuff. Um, let's make some Electrum Blend, uh, since we do have the resources for that. And grab some of that. Uh, not too much, because we don't want to use up all of our resources. And then we can go ahead and start melting those up. And I wonder if that's going to give us double yield as well. Uh, looks like no, we just got one for those, which makes sense. Um, okay, some of the pulverized tin. Hooray, that means we should be able to make ourselves some of the Invar. Uh, da 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 uh, Invar Blend, give us some of that. One, two, three. Yeah, that, that's fine. Six of those is fine. Um, and then once this is done, be able to toss in the Invar, give ourselves some Invar ingots, and then throw that in the compressor, give ourselves the compressed things. There we go. 
Take those Tritaniums out. Wait a second. Tritanium. Ooh, okay, so here's the thing, is that we can't actually make Electrum Plates in the compressor. Um, we need... Yeah, so we will need a compactor to do that. So do we have that on our list of things? No, we don't. Okay, let's see what we need for a compactor. Uh, bronze, copper, okay, yep, all doable. This is all doable. Okay, uh, we're still missing... No, okay, that's, yeah, that's all we needed. There we go, okay. We have a compactor. Hooray for us. Um, huh, we're running out of places to put these things. Um, there, I guess. Um, let's take auto input uh, disabled, auto output disabled as well. Um, and the compactor, cool, we can put in to Electrum to get ourselves some Electrum plates going. Um, I wonder if we can do the same thing with the, uh, with the Invar. Um, wait a second, pulverized tin. What do we need that for? What? Oh, there we go. Invar ingots, and we need... I'm wondering, so can we use then this... Um, yeah, so this we also need to throw in the compactor. We need uh, two of those. So, cool, cool, cool. That's not a compressor recipe either. Um, and then the tritanium ingot, how do we get the plates? Wait a second, what was the recipe? Yeah, tritanium plates, tritanium ingots going in there. We Oh, we just crafted them. Huh, okay. Uh, well, that makes that easy. Um, there we go, tritanium plates, hooray. Um, and that just gives us, wait, it just gives us two of them. Ah, oh, that's gross. Okay, fair enough. Well, then we'll have to smelt up some more tritanium. It's important to keep a lot of things going all at once. One, two, three, four. And yeah, get that. Get that in there. Well, it should be doubling that anyway, in theory, but who knows. Um, let's also, uh, let's get rid of this, because we don't need this anymore. Um, now that we have all this wonderful wireless wireless charging, um, we can go ahead and get rid of that as well. And we'll just plop our, uh, yeah, because the noise gets annoying after a while. All right, two Invar plates. That should mean that we're able to get our transporter upgraded the first time. So hardened, can we do this? Oh, let's, yes, there we go. Okay, a hardened transporter. And does it remember our... Yes, it does. Okay, it remembers the things. So, then we guess, just got to see if we can upgrade it to the next one. We have the compactor. We have the pulverizer. We'll eventually need the magma crucible and fractionating still to get us a, a, a gas production. Although, I think we may be okay just for getting to Mars, and then we'll worry about setting things up from there, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, okay, electron plate. We have those. Put those in there. Uh, and then hardened glass, which, yeah, we have as well. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, put the hardened glass in there. So we should be able to do the reinforced transporter as well. Let's find out. Reinforced transporter. There we go. And pull this thing out. And there we go. Okay, so uh, moment of truth then. Let's uh, station home. Well, let's double check that it still has... There we go. Okay, so it still knows about those destinations. And then the question is, can we go to them from a different dimension? Because this one does not complain that it doesn't say you're not allowed to go there. Uh, not enough fluid in transporter. Oh, no. That's a bummer. So maybe not. So one thing that I did notice, and I didn't really mention about this, is that um, by default, uh, these operate on, what is it, mob essence? Nah, ender, ender liquid? There we go, resonant ender. Yeah, by default, these operate on both RF and resonant ender. It could be. Uh, that it did seem that it didn't care about Resonant Ender, um, and so I figured, hey, maybe that's disabled, because Resonant Ender is unfortunately something uh, that is not, yeah, that is not, it does not seem to be uh, part of this pack. So if we look at Resonant Ender, um, oh, no, we can make Resonant Ender. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's try that then. And that will require us to uh, come up with a, a magma crucible anyway, which is on our list of things to make. All right, well, we'll give that a shot. We've got a ton of ender pearls because um, we've had this whole, although we'll eventually want to automate, I guess, this whole deep mob learning that's producing ender pearls if we're going to need resonant ender as, as just sort of a, a, a renewable, a constant resource. Um, we can go ahead and remove that from our upgrades. Um, so magma crucible looks like this. We need a portable tank, which I think we're not too far off from being able to do. Um, well, let's make, yeah, let's make another machine frame. Uh, this, this gets... Uh, this gets a little repetitive. Um, we're going to need, uh, let's see, the advanced wafers we definitely don't have right now. So we'll need, i uh, got to make some some of those repeaters. Uh, there we go, 19 of those, because I'm tired of repeaters. Do, do, do. Uh, we're not going to have redstone, are we? Nope, we're not. All right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and grab some. We've got, there we go, some there. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, at some point, we should get this all organized. Although it did seem to me, looking at Simple Storage Network, that the more points um, 
of contact that it had, the laggier it seemed to start to get. Um, so I was a little nervous about doing too much there. <clears throat> Voice is going. That's okay. Let's go ahead, toss those into here, into our circuit fabricator. And then what was it that we needed to put in to get the advanced wave? It was diamonds. It was definitely diamonds. Uh, diamonds, give us those and toss two of those in there, please. There we go. Okay, we'll get some advanced wafers cooking up. And what else do we need in the magma crucible? We need nether brick. Okay, well, I figure out how to do that. The portable tank uh, requires a redstone servo. Ba -ba -bum. And magma crucible, portable tank. Ba -ba -bum. And magma crucible, nether brick. Uh, this requires ne right, nether brick. That makes sense. We don't have those. That we can get from nether rack, um, which we don't have. Uh, but we can make it with cobblestone and nether wart. Okay, cool. Let us uh, let me do that. Uh, meanwhile, these titanium ingots have been working just fine. Um, let's go ahead and clear that out, please. Oh, no. All right. Trit titanium uh, ingots. Yeah, annoying. That produces just just one. Ugh, gross. Okay. Um, well, oh, and, of course, it did all of Ah, whatever. I was holding shift or something. Um, so then if we want to create the, the amazing miner, we'll throw in the astro miner. And uh, see if we can uh, make that. So there we go. Digital miner. Uh, oh, we need more heavy-duty plates. Let's see if we can do that. Heavy-duty plates. Um, oh, we need to compress them. Okay. Uh, fair, fair, fair. And what are we not doing? What are we forgetting right now? Uh, there we go. We should be able to make ourselves a digital miner. Yes. Congratulations, us. We have that quest done. And a rare reward, Windows 3.1. Fantastic. Nobody cares. Probably useless, as it says. All right, we can remove that. Um, should we plop this down and, and see how it works? I'm a little, I'm a, I mean, I'm a little hesitant, but, you know, uh, why not? Um, of course, this is an area we've already mined, so there's not really... Yeah, actually, let's let's close that up. Um, let's let's see what this looks like, huh? This needs, this needs a larger area. <laughs> well, that's ominous. Uh, let's plop it down, like, here. I go, oh, my goodness. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> So this is huge. Um, yeah, it is It is idling. Let's see. Can we show the range? It doesn't seem to change much. Um, let's configure this, I guess. Um, a new filter. Um, so we can tell it yes with silk touch. Um, yeah, because we want this to pull. Let's see. Auto pull. What is... Um, hmm, all is well. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I think this will re replace... Yeah, this will automatically pull if... Uh, Hmm, I'm curious as to whether or not we'll be able to... We could just uh, use a thing. So, yeah, so the idea here is that this one will accept... Hmm. Okay, so I googled real quick. It looks like we can we can use ordict, uh, which means we can just give it a string of what its or dictionary name would be. So if we say or star, this in theory should be happy to pull anything. Um, any of the... Yeah, look at that. It will now pull any of those ors. So that would be great. Um, and we could also set it to inverse, so we could say pull everything except for the ores. Um, now, of course, that would leave a whole bunch of empty space, and I don't know entirely where this would, where this will produce stuff. Um, so let's, uh, hmm, let's see, it, let's try actually letting it have, uh, potentially, do we have any steel left? We probably don't. Uh, that's annoying. Oh, yeah, no, we've got we've got compressed steel right there. Um, let's make a chest real quick. And we'll, I just want to make a hopper to see if, if this works the way that we think it does. Um, and then we'll put that in. Let's make a hopper. Uh, ba -bum. Uh, we'll take that and drop that on top here. Oh, my goodness. Right, so then, and then we can just, uh, yeah, let me grab... Yeah, four stacks is, is fine. Um, hopefully, it'll steal from here uh, to fill stuff up. That would be my hope. And let's also make ourselves a flux uh, point, because this thing is going to definitely need it. Uh, ba -bum. Uh, we need a redstone block. There we go. And a flux point. There we go. Plug that in there. Put that on our network. So now, in theory, this thing shouldn't have to move. We should just be able to tell it, hey, start mining stuff. And let's see, pull should be on. All right, now with pull on, it should refuse to do anything if it's not able to replace the block that it mines with the thing that we're providing it. So let's start this and see what happens. Uh, okay, cool. Hello there, hello there, hello there. It has pulled... Okay, so it, it's saying here, there are 330 blocks that it is ready to mine, and... 
interestingly, it does not seem to be pulling out from here. So that's kind of a bummer. Pull is on, though, so why are you having issues? It does also take, apparently, a fair bit of power. Uh, yeah, okay, so 240 RF per tick. Um, and part of that is because we're telling it to do the soak touch. Um, and we could also set up filters, I think, to exclude Sapphire or... Uh, it's not the end of the world that we're leaving these blank spaces, is it? We're not the worst. But I'm sure you can imagine just how amazingly useful this will be uh, when we uh, show up on uh, Earth. Or, sorry, on, on Mars. Um, let's try moving this. Uh, let's put this over here and see if that if that works. It's not grabbing items from there. Will it grab items from the top? Or from the from the back, rather? All right. I have no idea how to how to get it to pull the the right stuff. But we're getting osmium, we're getting titanium, we're getting dilithium and muridite. So that's you know, that's something. I suppose I suppose we can let this at least do its thing. Um, you know, it's going to create more more spawnable areas, which is kind of a bummer, but oh well. Um, we've at least made that. That's cool. Okay. Um, how are we doing? How are we doing? Let's uh, pull out these nether bricks. Let's turn those into uh, nether brick blocks. Thank you. Uh, pull those, put those in. Um, let's grab our advanced wafers out of here. Uh, throw those in as well. And can we make a magma crucible, please? Oh, we're so close. What are we? We're really we're missing a machine frame. I thought we had made one of those. Oh, fair enough. Well, we can do that. That we can do that just fine. Okay, there we go. A magma crucible. And um, where the heck is this gonna go? Oh, you know what? <laughs> We've got that thing right there. So why not? We'll do this. Um, hmm. Uh, let's grab some ender pearls. We'll grab uh, 16 of them and just see how much uh, how much we get out of that. Um, let's turn off auto output. And I suppose we should, and, uh, we should probably keep auto output enabled and then tell it to output to somewhere where we can use it. But that's okay. We'll do that. There we go. This will heat up using redstone. And, oh, man, that is a slow process. But we should, in theory, be able to upgrade this. One would hope. And, uh, yeah, so this will tune the, turn this into solid. And then we needed what? We needed a, um, yes, we needed a, a fluid transposer to actually fill the thing because we'll need to, we'll need to get it out. So we should also, yeah, we should also be making one of those. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Um, we shouldn't be, shouldn't be too far off from being able to do one of those. Let's make ourselves some copper gears. Hope I still have enough. There we go. Uh, can we make another machine frame? Do we have enough tin? Hopefully, Yes. Uh, another redstone reception coil. And there we go. Okay, cool. That that was not nowhere near as bad as as might have been assumed. Okay. Uh, so then, yeah, mode is to fill. So if I put this in here, or in there, I guess, uh, or in there? I don't know. Um, auto output disabled. Um, auto, what, is, what is that even? What is yellow even? Okay, let's disable all of these for now, and then we'll set them up. Uh, well, for one, this doesn't have power, so we need to grab a uh, cable. Plug that in up there. Okay, now this has power, which is good. And so from the bottom, I guess we want to pull fluid. And then, yeah, let's set this to eject. So we'll turn all these off. And I guess that is the top, and we want this to output. And auto output enabled. Right, so 1500 is in there. Right now, nothing is in here. Let's take this out for the moment. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is now getting stuff in. So now, if we put this in here... Um, oh, look at that! It is transposing stuff into it. So we, ha we have now transposed... And if we look... That's not what I wanted. Uh, if we look... Yeah, okay, cool. We have some resonant ender in our teleporter. Uh, let's try to fill the thing up. And we'll see how good or bad that uh, that leaves us. Right, and just looking at what we still have left in terms of, in terms of recipes, there's the fractionating still, and I think we will end up needing a couple of these. Um, this is something that we would need uh, to get a uh, fuel setup working eventually. But fractionating still requires another machine frame, so we can go ahead and grab one of those. Um, yeah, just to cook it, get it off of our list. Um, Constantine gear, heck no, please. Uh, let's make a bunch of copper gears. We need four of those. Oh, no, we need more copper. Fair enough. Uh, iron, grab a stack of that. Um, do we have... Oh, i got to put some stuff away. 
Uh, let's grab a stack of iron and some redstone. Uh, all the redstone, apparently. Um, we'll put that much redstone in there and then that much there. And I'll just get this up to par. And you know, there is one more thing that we haven't been uh, haven't been doing at all, and that is the meteoric jetpack. Um, let's look at let's look at this and see if we can get up to this tier because it'd be nice to do a little bit of uh, upgrades. Meteoric energy cells. So that's yeah, just a bunch of meteoric iron. Um, let's see, we've got yeah a bunch of meteoric iron ingots in there, and we've got them even in uh, uh, solid meteoric iron form, which we can just break down into a bunch of ingots, which is nice. Um, so we should have plenty of this. So I'm not worried about using too, up too much. Um, so meteoric energy cells, uh, basic coils. We're going to need a bunch of those. Uh, oh, we're at, right. Redstone. Uh, no, put the redstone back. Yeah, we're fine. <clears throat> yeah, so these each require... Oh, gosh. Okay, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we had, we had one in there already. Um, okay, so we need... Five batteries, I think. One. Ah, uh, more redstone, please. Two, three, four, five. There we go. And so that should mean we can craft ourselves the capacitor. That's important. And the uh, meteoric thrusters. Uh, we need furnaces. Unless, I, yeah, at some point, I think I rage, <laughs> rage crafted up a bunch of furnaces just because I was tired of waiting for those. Uh, oh, one uh, ingot shy. Oh, yeah, we can, we can fix that. We can get ourselves some more ingots. Um, and then we just have to take our jetpack off and uh, throw that in there. Throw that in the mix. And Meteoric Jetpack? Yes! Oh, fantastic. How exciting for us. Um, if we go ahead and equip that, that is amazing. Um, how how amazing? Um, it does feel... I mean, it's, it's something. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Actually, did we get an upgrade about our with our horizontal speed? Because that, that, that certainly would be nice. Um, yeah, we're, we're making, we're making some progress. And obviously there's a long, there's a long way, uh, to go here in terms of stuff that we can do. So, you know, plenty to be excited about. Um, let's go ahead and throw that in there. Um, and clear this out. Oh, look at that. We got the Ar 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 Argentine ore, which I forget what we can actually use that for. Um, uh, right. The Argentine ingot. Oh, I tabbed out. Um, Argentine ingot, Argentine sword. Oh, right, we used that to make the mine strapulation crusher. That was that was valuable. Ooh, and apparently for a wind generator, too. Okay, cool, cool, good to know. Another thing this might actually be really, really useful for is uh, getting ourselves Skystone once we're ready to actually go down the that route of uh, getting this, uh, getting our storage system even more fancily upgraded. Um, but, yeah, okay, so we can take that one off of there. Uh, fractionating still, we were in the middle of that, weren't we? Uh, oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we needed, we needed copper. That's what we needed. There we go. Go ahead, throw that in there. And get back to the fractionating still. So we needed uh, two more of these. One, two, and then what else were we missing? We need at least one of those. Redstone -y, thermy thingies. And I think we're probably still missing some stuff. Yes, we're missing. Uh, we need another machine frame. Ba -ba Boom. And we need two of these portables, which I'm, I know we don't have those just sitting in there backlogged. Um, so let's make some more portable tanks. Two of those. And fractionating stills. Cool, 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 cool. And this will refine fluids into other products. So that's a nice thing for us to have as well. We'll go ahead and toss that back in there because I don't think we're going to get to get to use that one today. This now, um, it is actually filled up, which is great news. Um, should we look and see? Um, well, let's let's first off, let's see if we can actually do the transportation. So here we are in the asteroid belt. It complained before that we didn't have Ender, ender stuff. We didn't have enough Ender resonant Ender. Now we have plenty of resonant Ender and we have full RF. So, uh, sorry, uh, yeah. Make sure base is selected. It is. And if we shift right click. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. And how much did we use? Huh, almost none of it. That's amazing. Uh, okay. That's very exciting. And the asteroid belt is further than Mars, right? So this shouldn't be. This shouldn't be anything. Oh my goodness. That's phenomenal. Okay, let's see if we can uh let's I guess let's let's set up a a, a point at Mars as well, because why the heck not, right? Um Ah, that's thrilling. Okay. So we can swap out our space warp pad um, and just put the uh, the moon in there and we'll go to the moon and we'll open this up and we will add one. So we'll say uh, moon or base. Well, we'll just say moon. And this one we should probably just rename. Uh, can we rename? Uh, it looks like no, but oh well. Um, and then we can just, yeah, we can decide where we want to go from here. So that's exciting. We can say go to the, go to the base. 
And we should, yeah, we'll we'll rename that to be the Overworldian base. Um, uh, let's, yeah. So we'll go ahead and remove this and say Overworld. Uh, and yeah, add that one. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and move that to the very top. Oh, it looks like we can't. Well, that's not the end of the world either. In theory, that means if we go to Mars, we don't need to. Yeah, so awesome. We don't need to worry about a space warper core if we're going to go to Mars. Well, in that case, let's end this by going to Mars, right? Let's, I mean, because why not? Um, let's see about the Tier 2 rocket. Uh, the Tier 2 rocket is uh, right here. And, of course, it requires a bunch more of those heavy-duty plates. It requires some Tier 1 boosters. Uh, let's come... Uh, can I bookmark this? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, so did we make heavy duty plates? Do we? Yeah, we've made some of them, not a ton of them. Uh, let's go ahead and put those in there. Uh, heavy. Whoa. Nope. Thank you. Heavy. Okay, so we have four of them. We're going to need. Um, why do I do this? Um, there we go. We're going to need uh, six more. Fair enough. Um, and we've got four here. Okay, so we can get we can get at least four of those going. One, two, three, four. And I think that, yeah, those are only going to produce one, which means we need to put in some more of this bronze. Uh, let's see, two at least, I think. And then we need some compressed steel and some compressed aluminum. Compressed uh, steel and compressed... Uh, looks like we don't have compressed aluminum, so we'll need some more aluminum. Uh, we have one aluminum. I see it in there. Oh, nice. I can just right-click, I guess, and then steel... That's not what I want to do, but okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so I can... <laughs> I can just go ahead and right-click here, and it will go ahead and fill. That's that's very convenient. I like that. Oh, man, this transporter is amazing. We should have crafted all of this stuff before. Uh, as as always, go ahead and follow the dang tutorial. It it, it, it never lies. Um, let's craft up some of the stuff that we know we can... Oh, gosh, more heavy-duty plates. Ugh. Okay, well, we've got these compressors going, so... <laughs> this shouldn't take forever. It's just going to take a very long, very long period of time. I think everything else... Well, the, these boosters... No, they're all going to require... Heavy duty plates as well. So, okay, we're going to have to craft up a bunch of this. Oh, and it looks like we explicitly need yellow wool. Seriously? Oh, oh well. Uh, bone meal. Give me a stack of that. And uh, I'll go fishing for uh, fishing for yellow. Oh, well, that's annoying. Apparently, apparently you can also right-click and, and completely empty the stuff. So, okay, that's something to be mindful of as well. Um, not only can you put the fluid in there, you can apparently take it out by accident. Oh, well. Yeah, so now this is full. If I right-click it again, now it is entirely empty. Okay. So, yeah, be, something something to be mindful of, I guess. Oh, so here's the thing, too, is that we actually need to... We need to fill the, the fuel canister with fuel, apparently. Um, can I make... Well, let's make some empty canisters. Two of those. Yeah, if I put an empty canister in there... Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't count. Okay, so we actually are going to need to set up fuel processing in order to even build our Tier 2 rocket. Oh, that's kind of frustrating. Although, you know what would be easier is to just power on our existing fuel system, um, even if it is a little bit rough around the edges and, and lagtastic. Because um, this one does work. Um, in fact, this may already be... Yeah, it already it already does work. Never mind. Um, let's put that in. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know what? I should have... Uh, yeah, I should have brought both. All right, two Tier 1 boosters. Done. Cool, cool, cool. So that leaves... Uh, four rocket fins, and then the ten heavy-duty plates that we need. Okay, so we theoretically have the materials. And I was just looking to see if we could actually upgrade the transporter one more time, but it looks like for that we actually need materials that we only get from blizzes, which are like blazes, but of cold, which I'm not... I, I've, I've seen some of them, but I've never gotten any drops from them, and so I, I don't know. We, <laughs> we'll avoid going down that road unless we absolutely need to. Um, Let's craft this thing up. So we need those. Oh, whoops. We're on the wrong tier two rocket. Those, 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 that, and that. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, a tier two rocket. How fancy does this one look? Not, I mean, not, not so, uh, amazingly more fancy, <laughs> but hey, it's, it's progress, right? Um, let me go ahead and grab our achievement for that. Um, Oh, nice. Elevators. I love me some elevators. Um, I think we're probably going to end up digging down into the ground on, on Mars, um, at least for, for a little while anyway. So this is probably this is probably a useful thing for us to do. Um, you know what? Let's go... Ha! Ah, I love it. Let's just go, <laughs> let's just go back to the base real quick. Uh, the, this base. Um, and let's see how this is doing. I'm going to go ahead and clear this out, um, and then we can pack this up. And, you know, actually, no. You know what? No. We're just going to go... 
We're gonna go. We're gonna land. We've got our a parachute. We should be fine. Um, and we'll set a transportation uh, thing. So then we'll, we'll be good to go, right? Well, we'll go. We'll pick up our resources. I'm also gonna nap because apparently, okay, it, it's apparently daytime, so we should hopefully be fine. Um, we'll go ahead and take off from from the station, though, um, just because that's because that's our tradition. Um, and we will head. Should we head to Mars? Yeah, we'll head to Mars first because you know. Everything else is lame. Because we could head to the... To any... Either of the moons first. But, you know. Why? Oh, you know, we, we took the... Yeah, we took the refueling apparatus. That's kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, it's at the moon. So we'll have to run to the moon real quick. Let's go ahead and plop that down. Um, let's go ahead and set this to the moon, please. Thank you. And boop. There we go. Hello, moon. Uh, yeah, because we had to set this up to uh, charge our buggy. I think this, yeah, so this is not the most gorgeous thing. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, quick station home. Because the glass is not hardened either, so that if a creeper happened to explode nearby, we would be very, very unhappy. Uh, let's go ahead and plop that up. Um, we'll throw the fuel loader down. Um, I think this will connect regardless of where we, I think it will connect to the pad regardless of where we put it. Uh, but, you know, who knows. There we go. And then basic fluid tank. Great. Uh, go ahead and uh, basically fluid. Thank you. And yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting for this thing to charge. And it is getting really laggy, which I, I do suspect is the mechanism uh, multi-block structure. So we will uh, set up a separate fuel system. One of the things that I've been thinking about, though, is that because we haven't really set up... We sort of established a little bit of a, of a base here. We established a bit of a base uh, on the overworld. I feel like it'd be nice to set up a bunch of coordinated mini bases that all have sort of different purposes and, and all have sort of different styles. And I'm wondering if maybe on Mars we can set up fuel production there. Maybe that'd be a fun thing to do. But it looks like we're fully charged, so cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the moon, right? Um, all we have to do is survive uh, long enough to pick up uh, the pick up the rocket. Uh, <laughs> Although if we don't manage to do that, then I'm going to be, I'm definitely going to be bummed. You know, I also probably should have uh, slept in the, in the, de <laughs> the deradiation thing. Uh, I think we've got one of those on us, though. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Go ahead and make sure we can drink that as soon as we, uh, as soon as we start to land. And we'll see just what uh, Mars looks like. So, Mars, we can go to Mars or Phobos or Deimos. Um, oh, look at that. We can create a space station there, too. I thought you could only create a space station around uh, around uh, Earth. Is it the same number of resources? 32, 24, 16, 1. 32, 24, 16, uh, 32, 1, 24. Okay, so less of... Hmm. Interesting. It would be cheaper to create one here. That's weird. Well, anyway... Let's uh launch. And here we are on <laughs> Here we are on Mars. Oh, look at that. We're in a bouncy ball, a cocoon of bouncy ball amazingness. <laughs> oh my gosh, like oh gosh. So we have a tumble we have a tumble landing. Look at that. That's a, that's amazing. Oh gosh, that's fantastic. I love that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can I <laughs> Oh, gosh. Okay. That is awesome. Does it keep my loot in there? Yes, it does. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's get the... Yeah, landing balloons. That's that's what I meant. Whoo! Welcome to Mars, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. We are super excited. What the heck is this? This is a Mars cactus. This is a yellow slimeling egg. Cool. Oh, yeah. There are slimelings, apparently, here, which is interesting. Let's... uh. Get ourselves into yeah. I feel like hollowing this out, right? Anybody, anybody with me? Uh, let's 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 make ourselves a little Martian cave. It seems like a fun, seems like a fun <laughs> idea to me. Do we have any torches on us? Yes, we do. Thank you. Thankfully, uh, that's that's good news. Uh, we'll have to obviously set up oxygen. We'll have to set up. Uh, yeah, have to bring all the same resources just like we did with uh, with the moon. But hey, you know what? We've got nothing but time on our hands. Uh -huh. Oh man, this is so exciting. Uh, let's uh, let me see. Let me let's put some Mars stone in here, and let's use. Yeah, let's let's set Mars stone as being the uh, 
the selected item for now. So when we plop this down, there we go, Mars Stone. Awesome. There is our safe little place. Let's uh, let's dig our way in here. And yeah, I doubt we're gonna find any ores quite so high up here, but this is exciting. We are now on Mars. We can set up our own our own base. Let's uh, set ourselves up a waypoint. Say Mars. Boom, add it, and let's see. Can we go back to the overworld directly? <sighs> you bet your butts we can. Oh, man, this is very exciting. So as much as I was worried that Endurium was going to be a pain in the butt resource, it does not appear to be much of one. It does not use up. We use like 250 uh, mega millibuckets, something, and we can go back to Mars, right? Yes, we can. We're back on Mars. Oh, man, this is very exciting. Okay, so no more having to go back and forth to places where we haven't been. You know what else we could do? We collected our rocket. We could go to the... Uh, and, and, and the launch pad. We could go to the uh, to the moons as well. I mean, why not? Welcome to Phobos. All right, hold space to slow down. That I can do. Slow down our entry velocity. Uh, this is cool though. We have a we have a, like a a different a different lander. It's not the traditional lunar lander. Um, I do also I have my jetpack off as well because for whatever reason, whenever we're in the rocket, it decides, hey, we should probably. Uh, I'm curious, this is just, okay, yeah, this is a full wor world map. I was curious because Mars's moons tend to be pretty darn small if they would end up being sort of like the asteroid dimension. But looks like no. Oh, and it's it's a gross time to be here. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's, let's quickly set ourselves Phobos and add that and get the heck out of here. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, geez, did I look at somebody? Yes, I did. Whoops. All right, let's, uh... Actually, we can just slash station home out of Phobos. <laughs> um, if we do encounter wither skeletons, though, that'd be nice, because then we can, with the, the, the mob learner, we could get a source of... Um, da -da -da. We could get a source of coal, but also you can use the wither heads as part of a recipe to craft uh, nether stars, which are useful for a myriad of things. Oh, gosh, what did I... No, I need to go back. I need to collect... Yeah, what was I thinking? Um, I need to go to Phobos. I need to... Yeah, I need to be there, because I need to... I need to pick up my rocket. Thank you very much. Uh, let's grab that. Oh, come on. Thank you. Oh, fine. Enderman, just get over yourself. Sorry, evolved Enderman, whatever. There we go. Thank you. And, yeah, give me my excess fuel back because I don't want to wait around. Nobody's got time for that. I feel like maybe the 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 visual model is is a bit missing. I mean, this kind of looks like a little like like the, uh, the 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 polygons are all there, but the texture is not. Um, but oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> uh, station home, and same craft for this one. Now, this uh, I believe that the two uh, the two moons of Mars are provided by extra planets, which is probably why there's a there's a separate lander. Um, I think Mars, yeah, Mars is in in Galacticraft proper, so we're dealing with multiple mod packs, which have you know potentially different. Potentially different stuff going on. Um, I have no idea whether it's daytime or nighttime here. But I guess we will find out. I wonder if... Uh, okay, apparently it's nighttime. Because stuff is a spawning. So, uh, yeah, let's get into our... Oh, that's a lovely view. Oh, pfft. I freaked out for a second. I thought that was, I thought that was an Enderman or something. Um, anyway. Let's set ourselves up here. And set ourselves a... Uh, is that spelled correctly? Yes, yes, it is. Fantastic. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, just need to gather our gather our supplies out, please. And I wonder. I think there may be. Okay, that's kind of frustrating. Oh well. Um, I'll take that. Thank you. Um, I think there. Uh, let's let's look real quick. Um, at the. Oh goodness. Something exploded. Uh, it does look like there is a dungeon. Yeah, there is a dungeon on these uh, on here as well. So we'll have to do a little bit of exploring on, I guess, all three of these places to see what we can find. There's definitely a dungeon on Mars, but I, I'm guessing that there there must be dungeons on these moons as well. That's very exciting. Um, so yeah, we'll have to explore that in future episodes. But with that done, we can go back to the station and sort of hang out there. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, this is so so this is so this is so fulfilling and thrilling and amazing. And if we look, it does have. Um, we will need to find a dash ingot, so we'll probably grab the uh, our, our our amazing new miner block miner and uh, throw that on Mars so that we can get ourselves a dash ingot. Um, and then from there, we'll uh, we'll fight some some monsters, uh, get ourselves a uh, tier three rocket uh, in from the from the Mars uh, dungeon <laughs> or whatever. Discover Venus and Mercury, and uh, yeah, continue heading on through. So, uh, yeah, I <laughs> hope you've enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers.